Uh, Spencer Oliver, just finishing off our boxing hour with us. Spence, thanks so much for being with us. Mate, it's approaching two years from their first fight. Josh Taylor, Jack Catterall. Is this fast turning into one of boxing's longest running soap operas? Are we ever going to see them again in the ring? Yeah, um, I, I do believe we will see them in the ring again, possibly this year. Um, it's a fight that I think that Josh Taylor needs to go over old ground. He needs to try and right the wrongs of the last one. Josh, um, Jack Cashel, obviously, he's been chasing that fight. That's a fight that he would take a pay cut for. It's a fight that he wants desperately. So let's hope we do get that fight because I think it, it has to happen for the obvious reasons on the on the result of the last fight. So let's hope that it happens. I mean, me and Simon have got a little side bet on this one and where mm. this fight lands as in what weight it lands at because I believe this fight happens at 147 or even a catch weight in between but 147 ideally for Josh Taylor but then Simon you believe it's at 140 I think it's at 140 140 is the weight class that Josh Taylor was the world title holder in 147 is the weight class that they're stepping him up to because he's finding it difficult to make the weight anymore mm -hmm. but it's a great fight it's a yeah. great fight and obviously there's a lot on it and Josh Taylor's got all spiky and nasty when everyone anyone pulls him up about the observations that, that he might have lost that he fight he does doesn't he uh, but that's the fighter mentality in him yeah um, you know he's before that fight and be, obviously the loss to Tiafimo Lopez everybody talked mm -hmm. about Josh Taylor as the pound for pound that's gone off the boil right now so whether he has to go and scratch that itch that is Jack Cattrall <laughs> and put it in its place yeah um, which I personally think he will this time yeah um but the Cattrall camp, I think, are absolutely brimming with confidence and I think they've got Josh Taylor's number. Well, you're right, Simon, because Cattrall thinks it's going to happen. Josh Taylor is still prickly about anything on this subject. And he says, um, I think Cattrall needs to stick to his crayons and his <laughs> colouring books mm. um, because he really doesn't know what's happening. I mean, he's very spiky about Cattrall, isn't he? Yeah, we spoke to um, Josh on Saturday night, actually, live at the boxing and... Um, you know, he said, look, this fight has not been signed. Look, there's loads of rumours circulating. This fight is happening. It's happening out in Saudi Arabia, etc. And he said, look, we, I've heard nothing about this fight. It's not on at the moment. And it's um, an ongoing conversation. But he said the numbers have to stack up. Now, this is what I was saying to Simon yesterday on our, our brilliant award-winning show. We're up for an award, actually, aren't we? Oh, well done. Indeed. Talk boxing, yeah. I didn't know. You didn't tell me that. No, because it's on a need-to-know basis. Well, thank you. Good. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, well, so yeah, he, he, yeah, he was saying, look, I think the numbers don't stack up. I don't think it's a pay-per-view fight now because it's taken, it's gone over. You know, if you would have yeah. done that six months later, the fight would have been a pay-per-view right. fight. But I think you know, two years. I think it just lands. I personally, think I think it lands they can build out suspense. I think with Josh Taylor's attitude and the disdain, he yeah, held sure. Jack Cattrall in disdain first time round. Didn't think he was worthy of being in a ring with him. And now he's got a similar attitude for, for different reasons, which is the fact that he's really irritated that people have the audacity to suggest to Josh Taylor that he didn't win that fight. That's why he's being insulting about Jack Cattrall to go back to his crayons or whatever else. And I think they can build that and build on that because the British public love Needle. And you believe it's a pay-per-view fight? I think there's a... Ch I, I, I don't believe it's a pay-per-view by fight by definition, but I think it has the possibility mm -hmm. to be one. OK, yes, sure. listen, thanks to Dan Aziz and Joshua Boatze for being with us so close to their fight night, which is February the 3rd. Uh, you'll be involved big time in the build-up to that next week, Spence, I'm, I'm sure. Looking forward to that. I think, we are we down at the weighing, all of us as well? Next Friday. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, yes, that's, of course. That's including yourself, Jim. Yes, I shall don't, be there. Don't forget to turn up. No, I'll be there. I shall be there.